if I can't get it done in six rounds, then I'm screwed anyway. Nobody needs an AR-15 to hunt. If anyone comes onto your property, just fire two shots from your double barrel shotgun into the air. That'll scare them off. Now, if any of those things that I just said bothered you, stick around. Because on today's episode of Worst Gun Owners, we are talking about our favorite type of gun owner, the FUD. Now, some people may not know what a FUD is, so let's go ahead and break it down. FUD originates from the term Elmer FUD. It refers to that typical old grumpy gun owner the kind of guy that only owns lever actions bolt actions a pump action shotgun maybe maybe they'll go as far as owning a piece of shit in 1911 but let's be real they don't like guns they might own guns but they don't like them because what they like is being able to hunt and that's basically it you allow them to do that and they don't give a shit what you do to the Second Amendment, what laws you pass, what background checks you impose. They're the kind of people that are all for all sorts of common sense gun regulation, but in reality, they don't really know what they're talking about, and oftentimes they are dangerous when it comes to safe handling of firearms and just general knowledge. So let's kind of jump into it a little bit more. Now that we know what a FUD kind of is, let's talk about how they hurt the Second Amendment, and why we need to educate, or at least shove them down into the dark, keep them in the basement. You know, we need to get them out of the light. So a FUD. The main problem that they pose is that they pass off to non-gun owners as a representation of what responsible gun ownership is. Now, like I said, they're generally pro-gun control, meaning that they are willing to listen to the common sense or compromise regulation that anti-gunners tend to come up with. This is a problem because they don't represent all of us, and in fact they don't represent people that support the Second Amendment. They're just as bad as anti-gunners, if not worse, because they provide that validity to the opposition that doesn't want the Second Amendment to be a thing and doesn't want you to own a gun. They're providing ammo for the other side's fight without even realizing it. And maybe they do realize it, and that's a bigger issue. They'll say things like you don't need, or the Second Amendment doesn't protect, or you shouldn't be able to own X, Y, or Z firearm without any real knowledge of what it is or why it is that those are different than any other firearm. They believe that the only things that you should own are bolt actions, maybe a break action 12 gauge, a 1911 if you're lucky, and that's basically it. The problem is that anti-gunners aren't going to stop there, so they're kind of flawed in their logic, thinking that, oh, we'll compromise on this, and I'll still be able to go hunting, I'll still be able to have my 1911 or X, Y, or Z gun, but eventually they're coming down that drain. It's the classic, they came for these people, but I did not speak up because that did not affect me. Then they came for these people, and these people, whatever. And eventually they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. It's that classic, I kind of fucked that one up, but uh, it's that classic phrase and that classic saying that kind of goes that they're going to keep on coming, and if the FUDs don't fight with us, they're fighting against us. I really think that most FUDs are generally uneducated when it comes to firearms. They have a very limited realm of expertise, and I would say that most of them are very knowledgeable about certain things. As far as hunting, you know, maybe terminal ballistics on an animal, that kind of thing. They definitely know a lot, but the problem is, is that they might know a shit ton about one type of thing and think that because they know one part of this, that they know everything about all guns. And that provides this vicious circle of them feeling like they know more than people and that they can provide topics and information on things that they really don't or shouldn't be talking about. This is especially relevant in every time that you see something on Facebook, which I don't even know why I go on Facebook anymore. You go on Facebook and you see someone that says something like, I don't know why the NRA and all these other gun organizations don't propose background checks, or why don't they, why don't they support background checks? Why don't they support an assault weapon ban? They don't realize what the whole point of the second amendment is to begin with and they're talking about it as if they do and they're talking about these guns as if they actually know what they are when in reality their expertise and their realm of knowledge that they know stuff about is basically irrelevant but they have that sense of entitlement and validity because they feel like they should or they feel like that they do actually know about these things they're an especially dangerous group and i think it's important for us to try to educate them um 
fortunately, I would say that the average FUD is older and that the modern generation of gun owners, people that grew up playing video games and grew up with more modern firearms, is a much more diverse group and that the FUD is going to slowly kind of self-regulate itself to death. Um, they're eventually going to disappear because if we're not raising more FUDs, they eventually disappear, right? I talked about this kind of concept in my how an assault weapon ban would work. I'll maybe think about linking that up here, where I talked about if they can make it harder for a certain group, like gun owners, to continue to propagate and spread our ideas, eventually they'll die out. So as long as these FUDs don't contaminate any minds of the youth, which they generally don't because young people that like guns, like myself, like other, like my friend, we like AR-15s, we like semi-auto pistols, we like semi-auto shotguns, we like weapons of war. And hopefully we can move past FUDs, but currently it is a shame that they have as big of an effect as they do. And I think that we all owe it to ourselves and our fellow gun owner to try to educate them when possible and at the very least rebut their points and negate their effect of spreading FUD or misinformation to others. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If not, give it a dislike. Leave a comment. Maybe tell a story about a FUD that you've encountered before. When it comes down to it, the only way that we're going to protect the Second Amendment is if we continue to share it with others. That's the only reason I make these videos is so that we can help bring more gun owners into the community. Maybe people that have never shot before. Maybe they shoot a gun for the first time and decide maybe that that's something they're interested in. The only way to protect the Second Amendment is by making sure more people vote with us. Take it easy, y'all.